Hello, welcome back to From Soft Serve. And today I thought I'd make a video I've had requested a lot, which is how to download and install the Shad PS4 emulator. Uh, because it can be a little confusing in that, like, here's the official Shad PS4 website, and you can see it's saying like 0.3.0 has just released. And if you then click on, you know, their GitHub, which is uh, the place I'd generally recommend it, uh, downloading it, is you go to their, you know, actual GitHub and you're like, well, okay. Uh, and you go to the releases, which is where you would normally download it. And you notice that it's September 23rd. You're like, okay, that's, it's kind of out of date a little bit, you know, uh, and that's where uh, this is something I had to learn as well. I was not really up to speed with uh, GitHub that well. Uh, that you actually go to the Actions tab. Uh, I'll, I'll give a direct link. Uh, and Basically, these are the workflows. Uh, these are builds of the emulator that are being uh, updated uh, and worked on. Uh, and they're various branches. And so you can see on here it says how long ago they were you know, posted. Uh, and obviously I recommend only really downloading from the main branch, which you can see labeled here, um, or the pre-release Shad PS4. I think this is what they're basically bundling for like the next big public release. And by public, I mean on their like website and uh, the main releases portion of GitHub. But on the actual actions tab is where you can get all the like super up-to-date stuff. Uh, and you're gonna see all these other ones of like subres up, more kernel. These are basically separate branches that are working on specific things, and then they end up, uh, depending on how they go and if it's correct or however, you know, I'm not obviously a developer or expert, uh, they will then get folded into the main branch, uh, and if that succeeds, well then there you go. Uh, those essentially, they push that and then they get bundled in, uh, but they're sort of posting those for testing and working, uh, and it's kind of awesome. So if you want to download the most recent one, which uh, I've actually not done today yet, uh, the most recent main one is here. Uh, so you'll actually click on that. And you're going to see down here, uh, you'll see Linux builds, Mac OS, uh, there's even an Ubuntu, uh, which is also Linux, but specifically Ubuntu in this case, uh, distribution of Linux, and then you have the Windows. Now you'll also notice there's the SDL and there's the QT. Uh, SDL is the command line ones, and then the QT are the the ones with a graphical user interface, or GUI. Uh, and that's why you'll see their download size is bigger. Uh, so for me, I'm always downloading the Win64 QT one because I have Windows, and I like a graphical user interface. So basically, click on it. It's going to go, hey, do you want to download it? And I go, aha. Also, I don't know why my download pop-up thing was absolutely massive but it was um, so we bring it up and then windows will go aha would you like to extract it yes i would and there you go you now have shad ps4 uh, there is no install uh, you actually just download it and extract it and you're going to launch it and windows is going to go whoa hey, hey and yeah windows will say it's protected your pc it's an unrecognized app because it's not officially like signed with uh, Microsoft, which makes perfect sense because it's obviously updated all the time. And so that's not going to get digital signing from Microsoft. So you said run anyway, and then it won't ask you again. Uh, so what it's going to ask you is where is the directory that you would like Shad PS4 to install games? Um, and I already have one set up. Uh, so basically I go to my one. Uh, which is from a very old <laughs> Shad PS4 build, but I called my folder Games. Realistically, you can have this wherever you want. You could have it anywhere on your computer, a folder where they go to whenever you install uh, your dumped uh, ROM from your uh, jailbroken PS4. This is where the ROM would go, uh, or whenever you install it. But yeah, so we hit Games, because uh, that's where I do it. And then this is the actual emulator that pops up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We'll go full screen uh, just to make it clear. Uh, and it obviously detected that I have Bloodborne. Uh, and then it shows me the size, firmware, and where it's installed. 
uh, this is where you can go into the settings. Uh, and they obviously have, is it a PS4 Pro? Which I have not found that to, to really do much other than, and what it describes is that it enables special features in games that support it. So if they had specific PS4 Pro enhancements, I guess this controls that since I'm mainly just really only playing Bloodborne, uh, there is no PS4 Pro enhancement. Uh, and I was hoping it would have like a boost mode that was part of PS4 Pro, but uh, I don't think that's that's not really applicable in this case. Um, Async for the log type. Uh, basically, sync is better if you're actually like debugging, and obviously as the, uh, the more plebs, uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm running just async because I'm, I'm not actually debugging of any sort. Uh, and then there's the language. There's You can also just actually straight update from Shad PS4 now, uh, where you can do nightly or release. Nightly is, of course, recommended. I'm assuming nightly is going to do the main build. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. So I tend to just download them actually from GitHub, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, now the graphics here, you might be curious as to why it says width and height 1280 by 720. Uh, that is actually if it's in windowed mode. Uh, if it's full screen, then it's not going to worry about that. Uh, and then advanced, I don't have any of those set. Once again, that's for debugging. Uh, more debugging things uh, that are not enabled by default, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, and then you have your main settings here of like enable full screen, uh, which is what I tend to use. Discord separate update folder all that stuff i don't really i don't really mess with to be honest so there's not a whole lot of settings that you have to actually like tweak uh also the controller button on the settings here or on the the main menu doesn't actually do anything yet so i don't i assume that would be for future controller mapping of some sort um shad ps4 does have support for i use it with my xbox controller and it works just fine um so you don't have to use a playstation controller um, but yeah, you can see here, obviously, stop emulation, pause emulation, start, uh, and then, you know, your settings, game install direct directory. So yeah, that is how you install Shad PS4. It's not hard. It's actually super easy. And basically, I go back to this actions tab uh, all the time uh, to check the new builds. So that's kind of the, I think, the secret that, I was unaware of for a long time. <laughs> there was, it's not really a secret, but I was constantly looking for like a new release build, which is very, very uncommon. And I was like, man, how are people getting all these new builds? And you know, this was months ago. Um, and then I was like, oh, it's the actions tab. Oh, okay. So you basically just keep watching that. And they, cause yeah, they're working on it for every day. Uh, on the hour, you know, there's new builds that get posted and you can check to see if uh, it fixes issues and whatnot. And yeah, so uh, thank you for watching uh, and uh, yeah, hope to see you on the next one.